how to set a free business email with own domain name hey guys welcome in this video i'm going to show you how to set up your own free business email with your domain name so let's get into it first of all you can actually go to a platform known as zoho.com once you get to zoho.com this is where you will land and i'll show you how to get your own business email with your domain name using zoho uh, and we'll be doing this for free so stick till the end you'll learn everything by the end of this video you will know how to create a free business email what is the business email it's very simple uh, it's just going to be like hannah adam at how to digital.com now how to digital.com is a domain name and i have created a business email with that so in order to get started, you once you get to Zoho, you're going to scroll down a little bit and you will get this option which says mail, secure business email. Click on sign up now. So it will take you right here. You're going to go to the pricing and instead of actually getting a plan, you can actually get a mail for free. So you're going to actually scroll down a little bit and you will get this right here. You'll have 15 day free trial. You're going to skip this too because right here you can see we have forever free plan up to five users 5 gb per user 25 mb attachment limit web access and free mobile app and email hosting for a single domain so this is actually a pretty good option for a small business and if you are looking for a free business email you're gonna click on sign up now and you will get a free forever plan so this is really nice so you'll get your own free forever plan now all we need to do is just enter our name right here a simple email address that we are using right now and then we will set up a password and sign in to our mail so after the initial setup you will get right here we have our email set up and we have our zoho mail now so now we can connect our domain name this is what i was talking about with zoho mail you'll get your own business email with your own domain name so now you can use a domain you already own or purchase a new one so if you already have a domain you're going to click on add now and it'll ask you to enter your domain name so for instance your domain is www www.facebook.com so you will enter it right here uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually get a domain name i have for a shopify store so here we have our domain you can see it's a, a domain name for a shopify store and now you have to provide your organization name so it's the same name that i have for my store and now we have to select an industry. Um, it totally depends on you what kind of industry you are in, what kind of business you are running. We have education, insurance, banking, finance, food and beverages, healthcare, uh, manufacturing, real estate and more. So I'm going to go with a design right here. Now we're going to click on add and the domain name will be added right here in my business email. All right, so you can see we our domain name has been added and now we can actually proceed to the verification of the domain, you can see. So after you verify your domain, it will be added and now we have our own business email created with our Zoho mail. So you can see it has the same domain name and that we had and it is for my business. And now we can actually get started and uh, send email using our professional business email. So this is how you can get a free business email with a domain name. Keep in mind, if you're using the free version, free forever version of Zoho mail, then you can actually connect just one domain. But if you want to upgrade and uh, find other pricing plan, if you want to connect more than one domain then you can also buy a plan on zoho um so now what i can do is i can actually get started and send email for me i will be sending email for my shopify store and that is why i went with this domain name that i have uh, in my organizations i'll be able to add my different businesses and it'll show me my business as well um so this is my organization info right here uh, then we have domains in domains it will show me the domains that i have connected uh, and you can see this is my domain then we have users so in users now what i can do is i have just one user for now i can invite my team members to join me right here in my admin console of my mail this is my mail admin.zoho.com 
So you can see now I can invite my different team members. They will join me and they will all have the same, uh, you know, email address, a business email that we have with our main domain name. Uh, then we have groups in groups. I'll be able to actually create different groups and this is going to be for coordination and communication. Then we have mail settings. In mail settings, we have uh, different types of settings available. So I'm going to get back to the dashboard right here. And now I can uh, get started with my emails and write and send email campaigns and do more we also have a quick access that gives me access to the domains users groups and quick access so this is my admin console uh, if i want to switch to simple emails then i can actually click right here and then i'm gonna go to the mail this is our mail admin and this is our simple mail um, we can also download a mobile app for our zoho mail and get started this is going to be a simple dashboard which shows me my domain. I have connected one domain. Uh, then we have organization users which is one. We can add up to five users and then we have groups and then we have license which I have uh, five right here. Like I can add five users here. Uh, we'll also get a summary of the organization users. We have storage report. We have security and resources. When it comes to the Zoho Mail, it is a pretty secure way to send and uh, create emails and create a business mail. So you don't have to worry about anything. And it also gives you your own admin console, which is pretty good. Um, and that allows you to add more users from here. Uh, again, if you want to go for more than one domain and you want to create more than one business email, then you can actually go to the uh, Zoho Mail right here and you can can actually go to the pricing plan and you can buy other plans as well so let me give you a quick tour uh, of other plans that we have so we have a standard for three dollars per month and then we have professional for six dollars per month uh, the mail only plan is just one dollars per month so with mail uh, only you will be able to actually add more than one domain here and if you can scroll down as well and get a free trial for all of these plans as well and you will be able to connect more than one domain but if you're looking for uh, a free business email with one domain name then this is the platform for you zohomail.com and i showed you how to get a free business email with domain name and with all of these different plans, we will also be uh, getting different storage. Uh, so with the free plan, we are getting 5 GB. But uh, with this one, we have 30 GB. Then we have 100 GB mail storage. And this one is the mail only. So you can see these are the pricing plan. Then we also have some of the other features such as the admin dashboard. We have passport product links. Uh, we have chats. We have guest chats and more. Uh, so you can go ahead and try out. And then you can also get the forever free plan for a free business email with your own single domain name uh, this is pretty good for your email hosting and for your brand name so yeah guys this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you and now you know everything that you wanted to know and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so yeah also leave a comment down below what was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question 